If you would like to skip the plot synopsis for this episode of Art Mandaleo, here's the timestamp at which you would do so. There isn't really much to synopsisize, if that's a word. It's not. Um, but basically, um, Wayfarer, Bender, and Ray have met Timmy, and who is a tiefling who, whose brother was apparently kidnapped. Um, they've been doing some shopping. There's been various things going on. Now they're doing more shopping. So let's, let's take a look at them doing shopping with, with, with Dragonborn Boy. Art Mendeleo. Do you guys so have go an... Sorry, go, go ahead. Uh, a, you need to write that name in the chat because the accent destroyed it. Um, and B, um, do I... Can, 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 I, can I go get my thing now? Um, yes, you can, but can you figure out where to go to get it? Uh, how do I do that? Well, you're standing in front of a blacksmith... Who, yeah. Um, okay. Who works in the Green Ward? So. Hmm. Uh. Point. Yeah. Okay. Um. He. Is Torin still with us? Yes. Hello. Okay. <laughs> um, Precious son. Precious son has been here the whole time. Uh. He he says um. Where can I get uh. Magic rings. Oh, by the way, just so you know, Torin all also almost topples over when he gets slapped in the back. <laughs> he's um, um, and and he's like, and he's like, rings, rings. All right, you, know, right, you want to go to the jeweler down the land right there? Uh, he nods. Thank you. <laughs> With the thickest accent. Oh, and by the way, Torn also got an improvement to his. Let me look at his equipment sheet. He also got an improvement to his own rapier. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Decent. So, you head into the jeweler's shop. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, uh, I actually want to... I actually kind of want to... I'm sorry. I might recognize I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Could you, could you, could you repeat that? Because I cut. Sorry. Um, I'm wondering if there might be anybody that I recognize that I can uh, talk to, like Misashi, or maybe, like, anybody that, uh, you know, just might be conveniently out while everybody else is just doing this. Mm-hmm. Um, tell you what, Mis Misashi's gonna Misashi's gonna be over over by the jeweler in the alleyway, and she's gonna wave at you a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, like, disperse from the group for uh, at least a while, and then come back later, and I'm gonna hang out with Misashi for a bit. Um, you two have fun. Can, I'm gonna can I be do right a, back. Can I Possibly you're out blind. Can I do a thing really quick? Yes. Sure you can. Um, so he he says, this is your, this is the friend that robbed you, right? Yep. Um, he, he stops for a second before he does this, uh, and he gives his money to Torin <laughs> and says, hang on a sec. Torin <laughs> holds on to his dad's money, looking confused. Because he's not an idiot. <laughs> And he proceeds to go up to this person and extends a hand and introduces himself. <laughs> I mean, I was going to talk to her by myself, okay. I know, I just wanted to introduce myself. How do you introduce yourself? Uh, he introduces him... Fuck it, he's supposed, he's supposed to be making a scene now, so fuck it. Uh, he introduces himself as Ray Baker. Okay. She's got to roll a history check. Nope. Um, she shakes her hand. It's like, nice to meet you, Mr. Baker. Misashi. Uh, he nods. He says, uh, he's like, oh, shut, shut your mouth. Stop your mess. <laughs> We're making friends. We're making contacts. Might as well. Uh, on the inside, he's like, Javan is rubbing off on me. Good fuck. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, he then proceeds to go uh, into the jeweler and take his money back from his son. Mm hmm. And Misashi and Misa, reaches reaches um, reaches into um, one of her back belt belt pouches. She has um, Frangelica's previous money pouch, and she tosses it over to him. Know it. How much is left? Uh, All of it. What she stole. What she stole was 183 of my gold plus the. No, thing. she stole 107. She stole 173 of your gold. Um, Okay. The extra ten isn't there. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go and leave these two to themselves. I was okay. just uh I was hanging out inside the the jeweler with Torin. You guys have fun. We had small talk. He bragged about his his other dad to me again. <laughs> his cool dad. But both of them are his cool dad. Oh, my precious son. Um, I will protect. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's gonna uh, talk to the the shopkeeper about some enchanted rings, perhaps. So, what sort of thing are you looking for exactly? Uh, I know it's gonna be a little more on the expensive side, but you wouldn't happen to have rings of mind shielding, would you? Hmm. Yes, I've got two of those remaining in stock. Let me see here. And he, and he goes, and he finds them. And he says, yes, here they are. Did you want both of them, or just the one? Uh, he nods. I want them both. He, he nods a little bit, and he says, 600 gold. Wow. Um, do I have that much money? I think I do. Um, you have I, thirteen I, plat. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. All right, I'll pay for that with with that with whatever that. Really? Is. Just gonna just gonna pay for it? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try and persuade that down. I'll I'll try. Because Jesus Christ, like the only one to try to haggle was Bender, and he did shit at it. I'm gonna, I'll, yeah, I'll do it. I got, I got some, I got some proficiency with the persuasion. Let's give me the shot. Um, before, before, shot, okay? before, before you roll for persuasion, tell me what your counter offer is. Um, he's gonna say, uh, is there? He, he, he immediately is just gonna go fuck. Um. Is these are for something really important to me? Is is there any way you can go down at all? Uh, and then he's gonna give it a shot. Mm -hmm. And that's not fantastic. Uh, it's ten, eleven. Hang on, I want to check something. Yeah, don't I'm you still have five? Going. Don't you still have five hundred on top? Five hundred gold on top of the fourteen plat, right? Uh, I have one hundred fifty nine on top of the on on top of the fourteen plat. Ooh, in that case, you actually don't have enough. Yeah, I don't. Um, um, yeah. If you can, dependent. I mean, like Wayfair can also give it a shot at haggling him down. So, so what was your role on that, Ray? I'm checking something before I do that. Mind spike. That's no, not how that it's... works. That's no. not how that works. I wish. I could, I could do cutting words. Th this uh, isn't going to be a counter roll. No. Oh. I I'm checking something. And it's too late to bardic inspiration on this persuasion. Darn it. Damn it. It's a perception or an insight check. Fuck. Um. No, that's. That's 12. That's 12? Well, I suppose you're right. That is slightly high. How about 500? <laughs> Still don't think I have enough. No, you don't. Fuck. Um, 
should, should Wayfair step in and try to haggle him down more? Do you want that to be a thing? Give it a shot, please. Uh, um, if not, Wayfair will just spot you the money. I have like 399 gold. Oh, what a bro. Yeah. Apparently these are- I can tell these are real important to you. And I'm gonna make more later anyway, so, you know. Um... Figure out what to say. Um... I'll look over the- the rings a little bit without touching them, because I don't think he wants us to touch the merchandise without them being properly paid for. Um... Please tell me that this is a very fancy elf. I don't know why. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a very fancy elf. Very fancy elf. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see, what would be... Cause I was gonna play it at his the- he His has name a, he is- has his a... name is actually- is- is actually- is- is actually- is- is actually Ezrin Fancy Elf. That's his name. <laughs> this so, man's what name I was now. Gonna, what, I, what I was going to do, I was gonna play the has a precious son that needs to be taken care of card. Cause that is part of what this is for. So, should I- should I go ahead and try that card? Do it. Um, you see, good sir, he, um, my friend, uh, Ray here, uh, has, um, has now, uh, has a precious son to take care of, and I gestured over, gesture over to Torin. And, and Torin, Torin gets the hint, is, and is, and is like, and, and, and he sort of acts, acts more scared than usual, and he's like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and so he, he needs to be able to take care of him properly. Is this a grift? Are we grifting? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get advantage on your persuasion roll, Wayfair. I'm gonna get advantage on this roll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sweet. All um, you wrote it in the chat. Like it's an actual character now. Okay, that's a five plus five. That would be a ten. So that's not gonna do much. Let's try that again. That's that's a twelve. A little better. What exactly okay. what Ray rolls. He sighs a little bit and he just goes Well, I suppose given that situation I might be able to go down to four hundred, two hundred each. That that seems reasonable. <laughs> On the inside the first thing I thought of was in light of the circumstances, it's now seven. <laughs> um. So here's what Torin's gonna do. Torin's gonna be like, "Please, I'm, I beg of you. I know this is quite the ask, but we really do need it, and we would certainly, certainly appreciate it." Roll another twelve. Kill me. <laughs> It's a fucking 12, isn't it? It's no, a nat 20, isn't no, it? It's a nat 20! <laughs> yes, the boy. The precious boy. So... The recurring, the recurring theme of Torin being fucking awesome! <laughs> precious beam! He softens up a little bit hearing Torin, like, basically pleading with him to, to be nice. For my father! Please. And he... And he... <laughs> And he, and he shakes his head, he's like, just take them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and it turns out Torin's a manipulative bastard. <laughs> I love you. I'm so proud of my son. I'm so proud of my deceitful son. Just like his old man. Um, cough. Which one? Both? Yes. <laughs> Which one? Yes. Um, so so he he does in fact take them and thanks him for his generosity. Cause holy fuck. So is that is that one for one for Ray and one for Torin? Uh no. Uh that's one for Madrash, one for Torin. Oh okay. Um, oh okay. And he he takes that one of them and and he gives it to Torin and and he says um, there's a good. Once, this is once they're outside, naturally. Um, he says, there's a good chance that things are going to go bad before they go better. And I'm not going to pretend that there isn't a chance that 
he would try and hurt the two things I love the most in this world. And I'm not I'm not gonna let him hurt you. Um, and, and he gives this to you and he says this will this will keep him out of your head. But what about you? Uh, he shakes his head. He says, um, I've, I've de- dealt with this enough times that I don't, I don't need this. I can, I at least have abilities that'll give me a chance, but the two of you don't. And that's more important to me that you two are safe he nods a little bit and he's like what about Hadrian Hadrian should be fine (laughs) he thinks to himself it's like Hadrian should be okay he nods a little bit he says um he's not circuitous enough to do that he'd He's the type to take the straight line. And the straight line to hurt me is to hurt you two. He nods a little bit. And he hugs his dad. Aww. His dad hugs him hugs him as well. Papa. 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 Really dark. He has a scream, Papa. So, oh, d- so, so, um, Bender. While they're doing that, you're going to speak to Masashi, correct? Yep. Yeah. You know, Misa- usually uh, when people steal, um, they usually tend to keep the money that they steal. I mean, she not saying laughs. That I'm not grateful, but. She laughs a little bit. It's like, yeah, well, I don't like to keep. I don't like to keep things from people that I like. Oh, well, isn't that just sweet? Besides, I think the ten gold was enough payment for my service in getting you that. Yeah, yeah, it's been helping out a lot, actually. She Thanks. laughs a little bit, and she's like, "Glad I could help." So, what, you just out here for errands, or, uh... Basically, yeah, you could put it that way. (laughs) Well! Sexy. (laughs) Yep. Just leave the whole pause in at the end. Ray says, yeah. "Sexy." <laughs> that was that was the meme. Like, there was no response. Only after I say I hate you, I was born. <laughs> or I'm mad. Here it is. I was trying it's to think of what the fuck to say, and then just that. And <laughs> okay, edit this out. Now edit it back in. Now edit in a lamb. <laughs> Good, good, great. You're gonna be you're gonna be editing this in a month, and you're gonna be like, "Why the fuck did I do this?" <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> Bender is just like, uh, so uh, I, I haven't necessarily uh, seen you around. Um, so uh, I figured maybe sometime we can catch up. Sure, I guess we could. Love to hear about what you've been doing involving this little competition thing. <laughs> Ooh, you got a lot of catching up to do. 
Oh, well, I'm sorry that I have a real job. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. Burn. That's why I like you. I wasn't talking about you. Oh. Well, then, now I just feel stupid. Yeah, like is do. that a new feeling? No, no, no. It's not. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you thought the freaking princess was a bitch, she, she's even more of a bitch. I like her, but what a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she's, no, no, I don't know. I mean, now you're just being mean to me, and... Gosh. She rolls her eyes and it's like, here, I thought you enjoyed that. I know I'm just making a fucking joke. <laughs> Come on. Why does nobody laugh at my fucking jokes? Probably because they're not funny. I, I, I strongly disagree <laughs> And with as that. you're saying that, she leans in and kisses you straight on the lips. As you're stammering <laughs> like that. Fun. Heteros, gross. <laughs> I take great offense to that. <laughs> he pats you on the shoulder. <clears throat> Torn is tall enough. He pats Wayfarer on the head. <laughs> I'm five two, baby. Dark. He's is five six. He's like six five, isn't he? He's six six. He's six six, and I'm five two. Okay, he can definitely pat me on the head. Pat me on the head. You're the short stock here. <laughs> I like my joke of yeah, I'm only eleven inches taller than my dad. What? What of it? <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> same spot as last time. Yeah, same spot as before. Cool. Cool. Uh. See you then. Sure. Get a room. And she heads off. And I walk back over to the group. I know, I know, so hetero. Gross. Fucking shank me. What do you see in her? She's a bitch and she's so good at it. She has a vagina. <laughs> He's like, he's like, I'm never going to understand how people get into relationships like that, am I? No. Uh, Ray puts a hand on his shoulder and he goes, speaking from someone who was on the opposite side of that relationship for a number of years, no, no, you won't. Right. Because normally with these things, Ray's like, eh, I hope that wasn't me. But he sees this and is like, no, this was me. <laughs> <laughs> this was the early courtship. No, I'm not even going to pretend. This was me. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Ray, Ray, you, you got to have had some kind of similar experience, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So um, why the he, fuck are we talking about this, and why are we talking uh, about it? He he smiles at you, and he and he points to the to the signet ring, and he goes, "Yeah, he didn't give me this." Mm-hmm. Um. So, do you guys have any further shopping to do? I want a cool thing. I got my war loot upgraded a little bit, but what? I still. I want a cool thing. I don't know what cool thing, but I want a cool thing. Let's get Wayfarer a cool thing. Okay, we'll get Wayfarer a cool thing, and then we'll go, and then we'll leave, and then we'll go for slushy. Um, when talk, do you want to just you want to just get a cool thing? I, I'll pay for it. How much money do you have? Uh, three hundred ninety-nine gold and thirteen platinum. And thirteen platinum. That's about a hundred and thirty gold on top of that. Mm-hmm. So about five hundred. Yeah. So you 
probably be able to afford a couple of uncommon magic items. Let me take a look at my list here. See, that's the list I was looking at. To see if there was a thing I wanted. Mm-hmm. Um... Do you have any idea of the type of cool thing that you would like? Um, anything to... I mean, I'm that this is being very vague, but, like, anything to, to like, help me out with, with doing the things I do. The thing that you do is spellcasting. Yes. Like me. Um, do you currently wear armor, Wayfair? I... I have leather armor, but I was thinking about, uh, at some point, I somehow learned mage armor, and then I just rely on that. Hmm. So my dex, because then my AC would be 16, why? Go the leather workers. Alright, let's go there. Go in there. Go in there. You guys go to the leather workers. Um, there's another dwarf. Nice. Oh. Um, Bender, you do recognize this dwarf. Oh, I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't even have to make a roll for it? Not really, no. Oh. Is this the one that I met? Mm-hmm. Oh. More of your... More of your tracing? No. I ran into him on the way over to uh, visit Fallon. Oh. Apparently, they were shouting some curse words in Dwarven. Hey, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I heard the aftermath of that. It was no, not you pretty. didn't. You heard, you heard the before that. <laughs> oh, great. Better. Ew. Well, yeah, there's no way of him knowing that. So. Yeah. Um. Um. Do we really want to socialize with him though? He's 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 grumbling as he's do it as he's doing his work. Mm. Hello. He looks up and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. what do you, what do you want? What do you want?" And, he, um, and he's and he's still and he's still getting work and he's still getting work done as he listens listens to you. Uh, um, I step up to the plate, I guess. Baseball metaphor, yeah. Um, and I say, um. Do you what? Uh, do you have uh, anything better than just the leather armor that I have here? Let me take a look at it. And Andy, Andy takes a look at your leather armor, and he's like, and he looks at you, and it's like, and it, and then he looks at Ray, and okay. he says, and he says. The thing you're wearing right there. Where'd you get it from? He gestures to his, uh... To his arcane armor and says, yeah? Where'd you get it from? My husband. Uh, humans are here for looking. <laughs> and, and he grumbles again. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and Yardrit under and, and Torin under his breath is like, "Wow, that's racist." <laughs> he looks, he looks from Torin to the dwarf, like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Excuse me. He was grumbling something about humans. I don't know. <laughs> and it's and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's been offended. Oh. He pulls he pulls out another another set of leather armor, similar to Wait. Ray's. Wait, stay again. Ah, uh, cool. He, he he pulls out another set of leather armor similar to Ray's. Ah. If you had one of them cast a magic spelly spell types, this would probably do pretty good for you. I he, am one of those. Then this would probably do pretty good for you. Did a fucking stutter. And he and and then he and then his eyes look over and he sees Bender and he grumbles a little bit more under his breath. 
crisis. Hey. Yo, yo, uh, hey, maybe speak a li- speak to a lady with a little bit more class. Oh, I'm sorry, you're a lady now. <laughs> okay, he he's got you there. <laughs> <laughs> I was more so referring to Wayfair. I, I was re- I was more so referring to Wayfair, but I mean, you know, all right, sure. I'm not really wanting your paying customers. I can see why this place is so empty. He looks right at you, and he said, "And he says, and he grumbles under his breath, and he says, and and he says, you know, it's empty at the moment because it's the wrong season for good leather. You realize that, right?" Could be that, or you're just not looking hard enough. Tell you what. You go ahead and prove me wrong, you find me some good leather. I just kind of got a look on my face on what did we get ourselves into, or what did Bender get himself into? (laughs) Ray proceeds to look at you with this exact same look. You know what? Fine. Challenge accepted. I'll buy it off of you if you find it. Good. Then you'll see how packed this place fucking is. <laughs> right. Sure. Okay. You got Real no charmer, idea what you're a... talking about. I got no idea what I'm talking about. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. Let's make fun of our shopkeep. That seems smart. I just, I, I take a step away from Bender. I'm not associating with this. <laughs> the views expressed by my comrade. <laughs> Do not reflect on me. Please let me buy your stuff. Exactly. I want he looks a cool over, thing. Because he's in a bit of a bad, he, because he's in a bit of a bad mood now. He, oh, no. he looks at you and he says, 300 gold. Jeez. Thanks, Bender. This is You're out of character, welcome. by the way. He's giving you cheap freaking shit, though. <laughs> oh, God. And it's like, oh, <laughs> am I now? <laughs> oh, yes, you are. You're making fun of me accent now, buddy. <laughs> I mean, okay, I think it's time for Bender to leave. I immediately push him out the door. He I grumbles make under his. If you wanted. He he grumbles under. He grumbles again. <laughs> as, as he sees that <laughs> display, and it's like, and it's like, and it's like, tell you what, tell him to meet me to me, tell him to meet me in the East Pit later. We can fucking settle this shit. I, I apologize profusely for my friend's bad behavior. Yeah, under his breath, this Ray just goes, on oh, Draste's fucking tits. <laughs> <laughs> Tor- Torin just goes, Torin just is just like, <sighs> it's like that time I bought shoes with Hadrian. <laughs> This is a small nightmare. Except worse. <laughs> so precious. Because he's actively antagonizing him. <laughs> this is such a mistake. Well, I'm just saying, like, he was acting rude to Wayfarer, and he's selling shit. She can handle herself. Yeah. Well, s- excuse me for trying to be a gentleman here. By trash-talking... The person we're buying shit from. Yeah. Good. Good. These are smart so, decisions. So if I did not so if I do not get a high persuasion roll because I want to try and talk him down a little bit, would he raise would he jack the price on me? Um, what do you say beforehand? What do you say to try to get the price down? So I want to start off with something like, uh, I'm sure we're both reasonable people. Um I'm uh how about I'm gonna actually put an offer on the table to uh, actually, because no one actually put, uh, no one actually bargains aside from Bender poorly. 
of a price. Uh, I tried. You did a little bit, but then you got it for free because you have a baby Dargan that's six foot six. I My precious boy. It. Um, uh, two hundred. How about uh? Would you do two hundred? I'm gonna roll for that. Nope, that's a whole lot of. That's a seven. <laughs> that's a seven, and he's like. No, 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 no. That's a nine. Never mind. That's a nine. It's a, it's a nine. Okay. Yeah. He's like. I appreciate what you're trying to do, and I appreciate you trying to be courteous about this, but I definitely ain't going down to 200. I can, I can drop it to 250, but that's as low as I'll go. Yeah. All right, I hear you, and uh, that was actually going to be my next offer, and then I, I pay the 250 for it. Cool. What I get? Did I get what Ray got? Yes, you got what Ray got. Hell yeah! So what does that mean that I can do now? Uh, um, it's plus one to all of your spell attack rolls. And you can use it cool. as an arcane focus. And it counts as an arcane focus for you. Cool. Which means you don't even have to play your war loot anymore. But well, I'm going to play it anyway because it's fun and I like okay. it. Okay. I was about to say, hey, yeah, technically it's redundant because now Ray has three arcane focuses. So that means, like, when I have to roll, like, thunder, or when I have to roll something that's actually an attack, like if I did a, like, a chromatic orb, I get a plus one to my hit? Yes. Okay. And he's like, cool. no, no, unless, no, unless the rest of you are trying to get something, get out! And he grumbles under his breath again. Ray just leaves. Uh, um, after they're outside, Ray's just fuck. I I had thanked, uh, thanked him before I left. And Torin and Torin rubs his temples and it's like, he definitely gets less business because of his attitude. That oh my god. <laughs> you know, I know right? But you don't. He nods, but then looks at looks at Bender and goes, "Yes, that's probably the case, but you don't say that to his face." Dwarves don't believe what they hear until they actually, you know, see it. So, frankly, this is just a chance for me to prove a dwarf wrong. You think I'm going to pass up that opportunity? Not <laughs> when I'm I think the to smart fight. thing is to pass that opportunity up. <laughs> well then I guess I'm just not a smart individual now am I Hey you said So between you and so between you and Corona you're the one who makes the dumb decisions in life <gasps> Yeah and apparently uh <laughs> and, and, and apparently <laughs> puts a hand on Torrin's shoulder <laughs> my boy <laughs> Yeah and apparently he still loves me Yes I've noticed that tends to happen I mean, he's he, Cor Corona's not all that bad. He caught he taught me cloud of daggers, and that was pretty cool. He's not a bad yeah. Ray supplies like he's not a bad dude. He just needs to work on the execution a little bit. Torn nods a little bit. Yes, I would certainly agree. Okay, uh, can we stop talking about uh, our, our little fishy friend here and and uh, focus on what it is that we're gonna do next? So we're, yeah, what we're are you guys gonna do else? next? I mean, if we're not buying anything else, I can go, and I can go and do that hunting. Yeah, I'm going to do a thing, because I figured out the thing I want to learn. All right, then. That is going to be all for this installment of Art Mandaleo, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like. That lets me know that you want more of this particular type of com content. As well, leave a comment. Um, talk about what you think is going to happen next. Um, maybe discuss whose hair you think is the best... In Ard, I think Ray's hair is probably the best um, because he's he is a fashionable sort. That's my theory at the very least. <laughs> what? Um, you can also go to my Patreon. I'm probably at some point going to have a blooper reel for Ard there um, as well as hopefully some new rewards in the future. But until next time, this is your friendly neighborhood Guy, I did the thing.
Darn it, post boon, I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I'm, and I'm editing that in at the end of the episode. <laughs> Damn it, post boon. Right. <laughs>